Fans of the Gloria series are looking forward to March to watch the second part of this amazing drama. Dong Eun's story has shocked many but Yeo Young's story has also caught a lot of attention. At first Yeo Young looked like a normal guy, from a good family and with his life figured out, but then we learned about something dark in his past. What would you think if I told you that Yeo Young, although he has a kind and polite appearance, is actually a psychopath? What would you think if I told you that Yeo Young doesn't really want to help Dong Eun and is just using her? This and much more we will talk about today in this video. But first remember to subscribe to this channel. Well, we can't deny that Yeo Young seems to be a really nice guy and he also seems to be very much in love with Dong Eun. The day they met he was worried about her because he saw that she has anemia and he wanted her to get treatment. Then Yeo Young goes to her college class so that he can inform her of her condition. Here we can see how determined he is when he wants something. He then invites her to play Go and tells her that he can teach her. He explained that the rules of the game are that the person who occupies the most squares wins, that you must build houses and destroy your opponent's house, and that it is a fierce and silent battle. After Dong Eun listened to the rules she told him that she liked it. Here we can notice that he explains the rules to her in a metaphorical way and not as the rules of a simple game. Then Yeo Young and Dong Eun met on a train and there we learn that Yeo Young worked as a doctor in the army, but not for long. Also Dong Eun asked him if she should write a letter and he told her that he didn't like letters. Of course, he didn't like letters because the letters he received were the letters of his father's murderer. Also something we have to wonder is why he didn't have much time in the army. Did he get kicked out or did he just couldn't stand the pressure of that kind of work? After a long time, Yeo Young receives a message from Dong Eun asking for some pills. Despite so many years Yeo Young is still interested in her, but she makes it clear that she is not looking for a prince, but an executioner. Then Dong Eun goes to Yeo Young's house and tells him her whole story and shows him the scars. She makes it clear that she is very focused on realizing her revenge. Yeo Young says that if she fulfills her revenge she will be totally destroyed. Yeo Young was shocked when he saw her scars and then tells her that he will be her executioner and asks her where to start and who to kill first. But how strange that after he had told her that this revenge could destroy her then he tells her that he will support her. Could it be that he was moved when he saw the scars or he just said that about revenge to hide how he really feels about that issue? When Yeo Young arrives home, he opens a drawer full of surgical blades, but next to it he has bigger ones. He chooses a sharp blade and says 182 centimeters and 75 kilograms and imagines what it would be like to eliminate his father's killer and in that hallucination the blood comes out like foam and he just watches it. I think when he said 182 centimeters and 75 kilograms he was referring to the characteristics of his father's killer. When Yeo Young is with the psychologist for the last time, he tells her that he came to say goodbye and that he is not coming back. Then we see the image of his father's killer next to him. Then we can see images as he dives into the water full of bubbles, and then we see him running to the scene where his father was killed. Well the scene where he imagines eliminating his father's killer and the scene where the killer is sitting next to him were very scary, but at the same time, they have a lot of meaning. But to understand this we must remember what happened. Yeo Young's father was the former director of the hospital who died at the hands of a patient whose life he had saved. The killer is in jail for what he did. However, there are many questions about what really happened. If we think about it, it is not normal for a patient whose life you saved to want to kill you, it would be illogical, unless the person had mental problems. Yeo Young's mother went to jail to see the murderer because she found out that he had been writing many letters to her son for years. She asked him, how dare you bother my son to get your sentence reduced? 
Now, what can the murderer do to get his sentence reduced, and why is he seeking help from Yeo Young? As the mother told the murderer that she was going to kill him if he continued to communicate with her son, he told her that since they are doctors in her family, they cannot kill. He then tells her that her husband was killed because of that oath. So the murderer is saying that her husband was killed because he did not keep the oath not to kill. But when we think about it, her husband saved the man's life and then the man just killed him. Here's something that will most likely be clarified in the second part. One theory may be that Yeo Young's father could not save or made some medical mistake with a relative of the killer, and for that reason he said he did not keep the promise not to kill. That would explain why in the footage we see that the killer enjoyed a lot when he eliminated Yeo Young's father, and it could be seen as revenge. Then the killer said that he didn't write to her son to get him out of there because he is too comfortable and then he cursed Yeo Young. So another theory we can have is that Yeo Young might have had something to do with his dad's death or the killer's revenge. This scene of the mom and the killer makes us think as if the mom wanted to keep some secret from her son. On the day where the family made a memorial for the father, the mother gave Yeo Young a small blade that seems to be a surgical instrument. This blade could also be related to what happened. Another interesting detail is that his house password is 3724, which is the identification number of his father's murderer. This confirms that there is something wrong with him. Why in the world would a person want to have a key that reminds him of a traumatic event? It seems to me that Yeo Young did something very bad that will be revealed in the next chapters. Considering the whole story of Yeo Young, we can think that he might be a psychopath who is hidden in a doctor's uniform. We add that Yeo Young has an obsession with Go because it relaxes him. He said that the bubbles of effervescent vitamins relax them and also the Go board. The bubbles can relax him because they can remind him of the blood bubbles that he imagines coming out of the killer's body, as it makes him feel like he is taking revenge. When he plays Go it makes him relax because he knows that in order to win he has to destroy the opponent's houses and it is a fierce and silent battle. So we know that he gives the game a metaphorical meaning that may be related to some psychological trauma, like Dong Un who likes that game because of the symbolism of revenge. I think it may be that Yeo Young feels something nice for Dong Un, but knowing that she has this thirst for revenge made him awaken the thirst he has for revenge for his father's death. Recall that he was going to the psychologist and we think he is going since his father was killed, but since he told Dong Un that he will be her executioner everything changed. After that conversation, something dark was activated in Yeo Young and then it was that we saw how he imagines killing his father's killer and how the killer is now always with him. Of course this symbolizes that this scene is disturbing him and for that reason he prefers to take revenge. It seems to me that Yeo Young is going to help Dong Un and then she will help him with his revenge. But the point is that if the theory that he might be a psychopath is true he might end up eliminating her so that there won't be any witnesses to the things they both are going to do. Like the game of Go, maybe he needs to destroy her so that he can win in the end. It may be that the fact that he told her to play Go is not just for a simple distraction, but he may use it as a metaphorical thing and use it as a kind of psychological game and then commit insanity. What do you think of this character Yeo Young? Do you think he is a good person or do you think he is hiding something else that could be dangerous? Leave your comment here so we can read it.